Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Corporate Ministry on this Tuesday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 28. O Lord, I call to you, my rock, do not be deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers who speak peacefully with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doing nor of the works of his hands. Therefore, he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Let us pray. Strong shepherd of your people, when your son stretched out his hands on the cross, you heard him and he did not become like those who go down into the pit. By his resurrection, strengthen your people to offer you thanks for the mighty works that you have done and make our hearts dance for joy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading today comes from Nahum in the first chapter. An oracle concerning Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum of Elkosh. The Lord is a jealous God and avenging. The Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great uh, and of great might, and the Lord will be no by no means clear the guilty. His way is in the whirlwind of the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dries up all the rivers. Basham and Carmel wither. The bloom of Lebanon fades. The mountains quake before him, the hills melt, the earth is laid waste before him and the world of all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire and the rocks are broken asunder by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him, but with the overflowing flood he will make a full end of his adversaries and will pursue his enemies into darkness. What do you plot against the Lord? He will make a full end. He will make a full end. He will not take vengeance twice on his foes, like the entangled thorns that they are consumed like dry stubble. Did one not come out from you, who plotted evil against the Lord and, and counseled villainy? Thus says the Lord: Though they be strong and many, they will be cut off and pass away. Though I have afflicted you. I will afflict you no more, and now I will break your yoke from off you and will burst your bonds asunder. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our Holy Gospel today, or no, the second reading today comes from First Peter, first chapter. Therefore, gird your minds, be sober, set your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ, as obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your, in all your conduct, since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And if you invoke his father, uh, as father, him who judges each one impartially according to his deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. 
you know that you were a ransom for the uh, for the feudal ways inherited from your fathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest at the end of the times for your sake. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for the sincere love of your brethren, love one another earnestly from their heart. You have been born anew, not a perishable seed, but a per- imperishable through the living and abiding word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all, is gl- all of its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower f- uh, falls, but the word of the Lord abides forever. That word is the good news which was preached to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second, our Holy Gospel now comes from St. Matthew, the 19th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the children were brought to him that he might lay lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. And behold, one came up to him, saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? One, uh, one there is who is good. If you would enter life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which? And Jesus said, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these I have observed, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you would be perfect, go sell what is what you possess and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away scornful, sorrowful, for he had great possessions. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining me on this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.